about you, Adam, but I'm extremely tired. <laughs> How are you feeling? Fucked. <laughs> so, there's a really awesome coffee um, stall that Aerosol called Wandering, is it Wandering Espresso? Wandering Man. Wandering Man. Wandering Man. So, we are about to get a caffeine hit, which I need. You can't see it. Nuts milk bags. Thinking of getting one of these so I can make my own coconut cream. Pretty good. Hello. Who are you? Oh. You're beautiful. I think we got a yellow one. <laughs> That is usually what I use to make my granola. These mix nuts, really good mix. If you mix chocolate and you're trying to cut out sugar, this is an amazing alternative. Uh, it's made of carob, so naturally sweet but actually really pretty low in sugar. This is a really good one, I love these. Have a look at our haul. This is hopefully everything for the week. Check it out. Alright, let's get home. Okay, so I'm back home from the market. Let me show you what I got. There's a lot of food here, and I just wanted to make it clear that this is not like a week's shop. Um, this is probably more like a week and a half to two weeks and I've really stocked up because I'm gonna make uh, cook a load of things throughout the week and then freeze it and store it for later so I can just have meals midweek when I can't be bothered cooking. And also don't forget that I live with a real life Viking who demolishes food so our food bill is probably a lot higher than most people. But anyway, take a look at what I got. So we're now off to the gym and I'm gonna be training glutes as usual. I mean, what else do I train? And the Viking, I think, is doing some shoulders. Arms. I mean, arms. Same difference, right? It's a really, really hot day today. It's like gonna be 35 degrees, and it's about nine o'clock now, and it's already boiling. So we'll see what this gym session turns out like. I think it's gonna be a sweaty one.
just finished up at the gym and that was a hot session. So it's a really cool gym because it's got, um, it's like a warehouse so it's huge and open plan. So you get a lot of breeze but it's 35 degrees so you're still, you're still boiling. So I'm just like quietly sweating in the car. Um, I actually train fasted. So I do intermittent fasting so I don't have breakfast which means that um, I normally train around kind of eight, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock some days, which means my first meal is always lunch. And um, so I'm pretty hungry because I just did a, a really grueling glute session. So I am about to have some of my homemade granola with um, Koyo and I'll probably have some eggs later. Right, this is my favorite brand. This is Koyo Organic. Um, vanilla bean flavor really good if you um, don't handle dairy very well and I, I do not my stomach does not like dairy so I can eat it in small amounts but if I want a really good portion then this is just amazing I love it the flavor you guys is just so good if you don't know this brand you need to get on it and then here is my organic homemade grain-free sugar-free granola and I, I can't even begin to describe to you how incredible this tastes. So. I got a question off um, one of my Instagram followers and she was asking me how I program my workouts. Um, and specifically like she was asking between compound and isolation exercises and how I choose what to do. It really depends on my goals at the time firstly so if um, if I'm training for strength or if I'm training kind of in competition prep then it'll be different. What I like to do is always start with my heavier compound lift. So of course I do all my glute activation and everything, but you know, you saw me do the hip thrusts and then I moved on to um, any sort of kind of deadlift variation, whether it's a conventional or sumo or even stiff leg, which is what I did today. Cause that's when I feel like I've got my mo most of my energy and I feel strongest. And then I like to move on to my isolation exercises. So I'll do a mixture of, uh, of things, um, whether it's cables or free weights or machines, it might be single leg or, and I tend to mix up my isolation exercises every every time I train. But my compound lifts pretty much stay the same because I know what lifts I like. I know what lifts really work for my body. If if I'm trying to gain strength, then it's something that you have to um, kind of do over and over every week. You can't, you can't just like, oh, I'll do hip thrust this week and then I won't do it for another three weeks. Like your compounds, for me is stay consistent. And so at the moment I'm working on my hip thrusts, I want to get to comfortably be able to do 100 kilos for eight reps. So at the moment I'm on 90 kilos for eight reps. And you know, I could go heavier, smash them out, probably do 100, but I'm a real stickler for form. And I don't care how heavy I lift necessarily. It's more about quality over quantity. I wanna make sure that I'm really contracting my muscles and I'm really feeling them work because otherwise there's no point. Like when you go to train, you gotta leave your ego at the door. Um, and that's what I try to do with my compound lifts. So, you know, you'll see girls doing like crazy weights, crazy, crazy weights with the hip thrusts. And you know, it's a bit of fun and why not? But um, for me, that just doesn't work. So hip thrusts every time. If I'm training glutes, I do hip thrusts. I maybe do one or two compound lifts and then uh, I'll probably do between four and six isolation exercises. At the end, I'll throw in like a superset or a tricep just so that I'm really fatiguing my muscles and I'm, I'm really getting a good burn. And that just seems to work best for me. I hope that helps you if you're thinking about how to program your own uh, sessions at the gym. There's so many different ways to do it as well. That's just what I'm doing now and of course it, it will change. And really when you're training glutes you just want to do the exercises that 
you feel the most in your glutes like if you're doing an exercise because you saw some fitness model do it on on her insta story and you think oh she says that works so i'm going to do that too you got to think again because um you know if you're only feeling it in your quads or you're not feeling it at all in your glutes then there's no point in you doing that exercise so find what works for you every single day without fail to get out in nature even if it's just for 10 minutes and it's made such a huge difference to our lives really in terms of like mood and stress levels and just feeling grounded and it's really important when you work for yourself you end up like not taking any time off and you know it's hard to kind of um, switch off and so I can like I don't know what you guys are like but I can literally just sit by my computer and just do it solidly without even taking a breath like I'll forget to eat so it's a really uh, nice way to just um, get grounded again and just come out and get some fresh air it makes such a difference such a huge difference guys you've, you've got to do it you've got to start doing it Thank you for watching my first ever vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. We're gonna finish our walk now and enjoy the sunset. And if you liked it, please subscribe and give it the thumbs up. And if there's anything at all that you want to see more of, if it's like more workouts or more stuff on diet or mindset, please put them in the comments below. Uh, give me some ideas on what you guys wanna see. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.